Holy crap. Is that true? Hello, everyone. I have got a super fun unboxing. Yes. Yes. I have upgraded my climbing stand. Uh-oh, we're poking at the bottom here. Um, but yes. Yes, I got the Lone Wolf DeQuisto Series Mobile Hunting Hang On 1.0. Let's get it open. Man, I'm super excited. I have been using this old school setup that I kind of bummed from a friend and it's been okay, it's been okay. I think I gave him like 100 bucks, maybe 150, but um, definitely uh, could use an upgrade. I've never truly felt unsafe in the stand, but I have been telling myself for a couple years now that it's time for an upgrade. And what an upgrade we have made. I guess I shouldn't destroy this box in case I want to upgrade to the 2.0. Um, I can't imagine wanting to do that, but uh, never know. Oh, there we go. There we go. Let's put these puppies over here. maximize what's going on. All right, the moment of truth, the unveiling. Ooh, hoo -hoo. we got candy. All right, all right, thanks guys. Oh man, look at this guy. Ah, smells good. Oh, it feels good. It's kind of got this little bite to it. Yes, and you want a little bit of a bite uh, when you're 20 feet up in a tree. We got some stuff. We got some straps. We got some more stuff. Oh man, oh, stickers, heck yeah. You know I love me some stickers. All right, all right, all right. Oh, bonus, hey, forgot about this guy too. We'll talk about you later. Yes, but the stand, get out of here. Oh, dude, this, this stand is light. All right, man. Let's go. Yes. All right. Uh, first time ever. Let's uh, let's put some of this padded, this protection going on right here. Let's keep some of that safe. Yeah. Can't be scratching up my table, <laughs> scratching up the stand. Yes. Oh man. But yeah. This this thing is light. I knew um, I knew the weight online, but um, until you get your hands on it. Um, it's tough, tough to know that actual weight. But yes, look at this, look at this. Pretty much all good to go, straight out of the box, man. All we gotta do is put our seat on. We can do that later. This isn't a how-to, this, is this is just an unboxing here. I don't know which way it goes top. Hey, we'll just do that. But ooh, hoo, 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 man, this is looking sharp. Oh gosh, every time I pick it up, it's just so light. Oh man, the backpack straps, yes. So I did not, this comes with an optional, uh, the waistband strap. I did not get that. I'm kind of hoping the straps will be just fine. Time will tell. I think I'm gonna put it all together and then we'll see what it's feeling like um, actually up and running, but man. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be a game changer. So, let's open box number two real fast. Kind of scrunch you down. All right, we got some figuring out to do already here. That's a little, oh, yes, there it goes. Oh, oh, man, they've got all the slots in all the right places. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. We'll scoot you. Off to the side here. I think we got plenty of space. Keep, keep my pads going here. Yes. Yes. On to box number two. Yes. The climbing sticks. I don't know what you can see up there. Hopefully uh, you can see some good stuff. Open these puppies up.
same story with these guys. I don't want to destroy the box. I, I purchased the, ooh, I want to say the 20 inch climbers. So not planning on returning them, but hey, more candy. Shoot you guys, all right. Lone Wolf, you're so sweet. Trying to fatten me up for beer season. All right, all right, we got all the, all the fixings in there. We got some boxes to sort through. These guys come in a little, a little extra protected here. Let's bust you open, Let's see what we're playing with. Yes. Oh man, if, if, if I could explain how light these are, it, um, it, it almost feels unsafe to, to slap this up against a tree and climb up. Like they're just, it almost feels, it's definitely metal. It def, it's definitely metal. Um, it almost feels kind of plastic. Like it's just so freaking light. This metal is just out of control. I like this so much. Yes. Okay. All right. Focus, Chris, focus. All right, so we got four of these pups. I ended up with the 1.0 seat and four of the 20 inch climbers. Let me see. Let me see exactly where that 20 inches falls. I assumed it was step to step. Let me see if I am correct. It is using an old nasty tape. It is exactly 20 inches step to step. And um, it was awkward in my garage. I just did kind of a, a 20 inches here and there just to see what I was working with. And I'm, I'm a taller individual. I'm six foot two. I forget my inseam, maybe 32 inches, 33 inches, something like that. Um, but yeah, I felt like the 20 inches would be solid. You know, that way if I wanted to rock all four, like I could get danger high. If I only wanted to rock two or three, like we could certainly do that as well. But yes, these are beautiful. I almost hate to, you know, unbox them and get them all scratched up, but man, yes. Super curious, yeah, how, to, how these are gonna stand at the test of time. Um, there are some like lubricating things going on, but yeah, it, it almost looked like some wear and tear, but I think it's just like wax or, or grease or something in the middle there. Ooh. Okay, okay. Uh, like I said, this is not going to be like a full on put it together, break it down video. They've got all that on their website. This is simply a, an unboxing, a first look. Oh, these are the grommet things probably for the, yeah, okay, those. These, these go in these, these go in these. Um, whew, yes! Um, so, straight out, I, I do, I think I misread what actually comes with everything. Um, each of the climbing sticks came with a cam strap. The climbing stand came with one. Okay, okay, okay. It came with one and I believe I ordered an extra one. Um, I, I was looking online somewhere today earlier and wanted to say that it came with two, um, but I'm, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I might still have one more cam strap coming in the mail. I need to get myself straightened out. I need to get it figured out. Um, but yes, I mean, everything looks spectacular. Um, I did want to throw it together though and just get like an overall how much does this system weigh versus how much did my old system weigh? So in the woods, I will have all the cam straps, four cam straps for potentially, potentially. So that right now I think this is just maximum weight. So I've got the seat, I've got four cam straps, four steps, I'll need the pad, the pad's important. And I believe I'm gonna be, I'm definitely gonna be wearing these backpack straps the whole time. So there's that. I did purchase an extra button. I, I don't know how, how I personally feel about only having one strap on my seat. 
So I'm probably going to add the second button and put two cam straps on my seat just to, just to appease my mind. All right. So let's get, get the scale, the trusty old scale. Let's start with the old stand, okay? Let's see what's going on with the old guy. So, old stand. This beast, oh, this, this is what I'm replacing. So, still a quality stand. I've never felt unsafe in this stand. It's just old. And I've gotten into a couple situations where trying to fit these dudes around trees. I've tried to climb trees that are too big and couldn't get this around. I've tried to climb trees that are too small. So as tight as these go, like it's still just way, way too tipsy to try and sit in. Um, and I've also tried to climb trees that it's just way too squirrely. Like you're halfway up the tree and you have to undo these and redo them. I shouldn't be telling you this. I, I have attempted that twice. I've never fallen out of a tree, but I've definitely dropped some of these pins that, that keep everything locked in. And I had to like get my emergency, emergency rope out of my pack and kind of like um, scale down the tree to pick up this old pin. Uh, it was not fun. It was scary. I did not like it. So just a couple of the reasons why I'm trying to avoid this style of climber and shift to the sticks, the climbing sticks, because these can climb anything. If the cam strap can fit around the tree, you're up at no problem. So let's get a weight on the old stand. So this old stand, approximate weight is around 30. I know I'm affecting it a little bit by holding on to it. 32 pounds, okay. That's just the stand, 32 pounds on the stand there. Um, doable, I don't go to the gym a lot, so 32 pounds for a stand is a little more than I was wanting to carry. All right, now for the lone wolf. Oh man, I already know, I already know, it's so much better. Okay, reset here. Try and keep all my accessories in place until it gets set up finally. But, holy crap, holy crap, is that true? It's an average, it's gonna be close. We're coming in at 19 pounds. Oh, yes. Oh man, to shed 12 pounds. Is that right, 13 pounds? I forget what that one weighed, but to shed over 10 pounds is spectacular. I love it. Oh man, I'm so excited. Um, so, so also on the older stand, trying to carry a pack, trying to carry either your uh, firearm or your bow. I'm a crossbow user still, do not hold that against me. I'm not ashamed, but um, it's just, it, all the stuff adds up. The more I do filming, all my camera gear, it just, it's wait, 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 wait. So anywhere I can shave weight, especially 10 pounds, is a huge deal. Um, that being said, carrying a backpack with this old nasty climber, it's got old nasty straps, it's just super uncomfortable, it's loud, things bang around and clank, it's just not cool. This guy, again, I'm in love with, uh, just, just for the fact that like, I, it has this seat that is like, I could just prop stuff up on here, kind of lash it. It's got all sorts of little like nooks and crannies and um, slots to put stuff. So the backpack I'm planning on using, um, it looks like it's a little tall to sit on the seat and hang here. Um, I don't know if that's exactly what it was built for. So I can definitely slap that in right there. Uh, like I said, it's a little tall to fit on the seat while it's lashed in there, uh, but you can definitely prop it up and like it might joss around a bit but you know that's going to be gold and it's on there i don't feel worried about it it like i said it might flop around a little bit but like it's not going to fall off of the hook so super excited about that like you can always just like you know depending on how tight you've got these guys ratcheted down these things are stiff but you could probably like hang it 
from one of those to, uh, we got options, yeah, we got options. I'll have to figure out, for, figure out exactly how I wanna you know, carry the backpack in there. Because once you get walking, you're hiking, you know, you're walking as fast as you want to without causing too much noise, loose things like backpacks that are suspended by just the strap, at least on my back, like tend to flop around and they just, it's, it kind of throws the weight around, it's, it makes it uncomfortable. And you know, worst case scenario, walking in, you're trying to be quiet with all this stuff just flopping around, you're making unnecessary noise. So first, first thought, I'm freaking excited. This thing is just, it's saving me 10 pounds. So it's already like worth it to me to, to invest in a system like this. One thing I am a little nervous about going from the old school climber, you know, it's got the seat that you stand on. Sorry, it's got, it's got the platform you stand on and then it's got the shooting rail that suspends the seat. So you're kind of sitting on the shooting rail. And I love that shooting rail just to like, prop up the crossbow right there, prop up the rifle. Um, you could almost just go hands free and just not worry about dropping anything that was resting on that shooting rail. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this system because there is no shooting rail. Also the shooting rail, I kinda got used to taking tree stand naps. So I'm sure I've lost tons of deer just from walking under me while I was napping. Uh, but not having the shooting rail on the lone wolf setup does make me just a little bit nervous. It's, it's definitely something I'm going to have to get used to. I'm gonna have to like really focus on not taking naps. Definitely 100% going to be investing in a, in a quality harness system. I shouldn't be telling you this, but with the old climber, it just, I felt so secure all of the time, minus those little sketchy climbs. Uh, I felt so secure in that thing that I just, I never wore a safety harness. Uh, I didn't feel like it was necessary. I, I feel like you would have to work to fall out of that thing. You'd have to work hard at falling out of it. Uh, whereas this guy, on the other hand, I, if, again, if I'm not paying 100% attention, 100% of the time, um, I could get into like a precarious situation and definitely fall out of this thing. So definitely need a good harness, definitely need to get used to adding that to the mix uh, and using it every single climb. But this thing is gonna open so many doors just for the fact that I'm losing 10 pounds only in my stand, just for the fact that like literally almost any tree I can see, I can climb if that cam strap fits around it. So excited about that. I cannot wait to take this thing into the woods and just play with it. Like let's climb a tree, let's see how quick it is. I'm really kind of hoping it's a little bit quieter. I'm not expecting noise to be much better. I'm not expecting setup time to be much faster. I really think it's gonna be pretty equivalent to the old stand. Um, potentially this has, uh, this has potential to be quieter during the setup. Once I get the hang of it, once I get familiar, uh, as long as I don't clank things together, I really think this can be quieter than my old climber. Because with that thing, you're shuffling up the tree, you're, you're causing a lot of ruckus going up. Um, I'm so excited. This thing is beautiful. I cannot wait, I cannot wait. It's gonna be just a joy to uh, take into the woods. Thank you so much, Adam, for uh, recommending Lone Wolf to me. Um, this thing is gonna be freaking awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm just, I'm gonna go into the woods tonight probably and just play, get used to it. Um, that's the, the Lone Wolf DeQuisto Series 1.0 climber. Thank you so much, Adam, for recommending Lone Wolf. I think this is going to be a beautiful addition to the setup and it's going to make those public land hunts where like you, you shouldn't cut trees. I don't think we're allowed to cut tree branches. We're not allowed to cut tree branches. So uh, we're not allowed to tap into trees. We're not allowed to drill into things. So super excited for that. Lone Wolf, you look freaking awesome. You are so beautiful. And um, yes, um, I, it, it's not a cheap system. So it will be in my arsenal for a while. So I'm glad I'm this excited about it. I just, 
yeah, once we get outside, once we get playing with it, it I'll, I'll be confirmed that like this is the setup. This is what I'm going to be rocking. But man, I'm over the moon. This looks awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep your eye out for in usage videos. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this unboxing and first look at the Dequisto Lone Wolf 1.0. I don't know how that order should go. I'm gonna call it the Lone Wolf 1.0 from Dequisto. Am I saying his name right? I don't even know. Uh, Lone Wolf Tree Stand 1.0, it's going to be epic. Thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you later.